Hi, I'm Tom Boardman. I'm a water resource engineer for Westlands Water District. I work a lot with the federal and state operators to just try and maximize the water supply for the district and uh, both near-term and long-term operational considerations. Today, I wanted to talk about the uh, Bureau's allocation process and what goes into that and, and how uh, it affects whether we get a high allocation or a low allocation. Um, in, in all but very wet years, the primary source for our allocation comes through the export facilities, which is the Jones pumping plant located in the southern part of the Delta. And now the Bureau's projection as to what that water supply might be for the allocation process is comprised of, number one, the amount of water that they pump out of the Delta pretty much during the peak irrigation season. So that's the amount of water pumped between say March and August. Um, the, act, the other uh, component of that water supply that's available for allocation is how much is stored in San Luis currently. The Bureau needs to be very conservative on those estimates of how much water is in their water supply bucket, so to speak, um, because they don't want to allocate something uh, early in the season and have to reduce that allocation because a, an expected export operation didn't take place. So unfortunately, that's why we see our allocations kind of uh, uh, ratchet upward slowly, and we don't get that uh, higher allocation until later in the season when that export certainty improves. So what does the uh, allocation look like for this year, you might be asking. And I, th I think that um, the situation we're in can be described in four graphics that I'll cover here briefly. Um, the first graphic is the Shasta storage. The Shasta storage is currently at about 2.1, almost 2.2 million acre feet. That's about a million acre feet below average um, for this time of year. The Bureau uh, draws quite heavily on Shasta. And so the fact that we are well below average um, is going to factor in pretty heavily into what the Bureau thinks it can allocate. The second graph is Folsom. Uh, likewise, we're at 295,000 feet in Folsom, which is about 230,000 feet under what the average should be for this time of year. So in other words, that's going to be something the Bureau is going to be looking very close at. Folsom typically gets a predominant amount of its inflow from snowpack runoff. Um, the snowpack above Folsom has improved significantly from where we were in early January. Um, still below average, current average here. Uh, as we move to the third graphic, you can see the snowpack. 72% um, of average for this date in central uh, Central Sierra, which is tributary to Folsom. So although the snowpack is uh, below average, it has improved by about 20 percentage points since uh, early January. So that's actually going to help the allocation um, uh, increase. The fourth graphic that I'd like to cover is CBP share of San Luis Reservoir. This is where I think the Bureau is going to be focused the strongest on when it decides on what allocation it could support later this month when it makes its announcement. The black line that you see there is what the CVP share of San Luis has, uh, has refilled from uh, 280,000 in 1st of September, but is only at about 430,000 today. So there's been very little refill in the reservoir over the past several months, and it's because we've been limited in exports. So low San Luis storage and low Shasta storage will be the driving reasons why the initial allocation may be zero. But we could get to a 5% allocation. I think that 5% though is gonna be driven by how the Bureau interprets the most recent water supply forecast that came out on uh, February 8th that shows improved conditions, although they still uh, there's a lot of room for improvement. How they determine that forecast is going to drive their decision process as to whether or not we get a 5% in the February announcement. The Bureau is expected to release their uh, February announcement by February 20th. Since that falls on a Saturday, we might expect it February 22nd. Um, so we'll be keeping our fingers crossed as to how they evaluate the conditions and how they translate that all to an initial allocation for ag service. We 
have seen wet weather during the remaining of the spring months, which certainly gives us hope for conditions to approve and uh, the allocation process to be more favorable um, as we move forward. And uh, that concludes my presentation and I thank you all for watching.